Hi everyone. You know, recently me and few other teachers from Byju's we conducted a webinar where the topic was how to clear backlog in last two months. But you know, when we opened the discussion to the audience for live Q and A, the question that was being repeatedly asked by students there was a flood of this question in the chat, and the question was this. Ma'am, I am a student of X Y Z coaching, or I have joined this this institute, or I have bought a paid course from this this online platform, and I am following their plan, their schedule of completing the syllabus. And what seems to me is that the syllabus is going to be completed pretty late. But now that the J main exams are fast approaching, they are almost here. I am thinking that I am going to stop going to these classes. I will stop watching the sessions. I'll stop attending the classes. I will just focus on my self-study. So what should I do? You know, it's said that whenever you take any decision in extreme emotions, it's most often than not a wrong decision. So when you're super duper happy, or you're super duper sad, or you're super duper stressed, in those situations, avoid taking important decisions. And this is one of those decisions. Right now, you are in a panicky state. You are stressed about completing your syllabus. I understand, but the solution is not that you stop going to whatever classes or stop watching the sessions. That's not the solution, guys. In fact, वो sessions attend करने के बाद, वो classes में जाने के अलावा जो समय आपके पास बचता है, उस पे, उस पे we have to capitalize. And how exactly can you do that? The answer is. Revision. It's a golden word, which is a game changer, guys. Understand? See, of course, you are going to your classes or you are watching the sessions to learn the new stuff, right? But आगे पार्ट पीछे से पार्ट नहीं होना चाहिए ना? So side by side, simultaneously, your strategy should be to hold hands with the topics that you had studied before, okay? To strengthen that grip and make them move ahead with you. That should be your game plan. Now, how exactly should you revise? Because you cannot dive into random revision. That will just not take you anywhere. It'll be a time wastage. So let me share with you the sequence, the exact sequence in which you should enter into revision and make the most of your time, which is left after you are done with your coaching classes or whatever institute you are associated with. First and foremost, what you must prioritize is revising your basics. What are the basics? Trigonometry. Then you have properties of modulus, properties of log. Then you have solving inequalities, be it algebraic inequalities or modulus inequalities or logarithmic inequalities. Then uh, you have uh, sets, relations, and functions. Then you have quadratic equations. You also have transformation of graphs. How can you shift? How can you vertically stretch or horizontally stretch? Or how can you flip the graph? How do you basically understand the interaction of graphs? So all these topics, guys, they are actually the ones that provide you with the correct tools and weapons, which help you crack the questions of the remaining chapters of mathematics very efficiently and very smartly. If you don't know the concepts, the results, the formulas from these chapters, then your journey in the remaining chapters is going to be super duper hard, and you don't want that, right? So quickly revise them. The revision is going to be done very very soon because, as I said, these are easy chapters, but you need to develop a strong grip upon them so that whatever they contain is retained perfectly in your system. That's why I say these are the basics. These are the fundamentals. They act as the foundation of the entire syllabus. So if the foundation is weak, your building cannot have a long life. So step number one is to make your foundation strong. Of course, to prepare them, you can visit your class notes, your session notes, or you can maybe watch the one-shot sessions. And after you're done with that, you can uh, visit some module or assignment that you have, or any good book that you are following to expose yourself. To some great variety of questions, so that these concepts become very, very strong in your head. Okay, now once you're done with the basics, we move on to the core, which are the core chapters. And the idea that we'll follow to revise the core chapters is that we'll revise those chapters together, which are interlinked. 
okay, which have a connection among them. So basically concepts from one chapter when they are being used in the other chapter, we will club them together, revise them together, one after the other or simultaneously, whatever suits. See, when you study co-dependent chapters together, what happens is, A, the understanding of the entire content in them, the, all the concepts in them, your understanding gets crystal clear. It becomes exceptional. And B, because all the important results and formulas you are applying again and again, you are recalling again and again, they get embedded in your memory very, very strongly. So it is highly suggested to revise the chapters which are having a connection between them together. Now what I've done is I've uh, divided the entire core chapters list into a couple of blocks. It's a very uh, famous strategy called the block strategy. I was told this by my teacher and today also a lot of teachers use it. It's very effective and you must follow it. Now what are the chapters which fall in the first block? We have matrices and determinants. So these are two chapters which you have to do together or one after the other. Then you have differentiation followed by AOD. So these two you have to club together and do them together one after the other. Then you have sequences along with which you're going you're gonna to do series. And then you have vector algebra along with which you're going to do 3D geometry. Or first vector algebra and then 3D. These are the chapters which acquire a handsome weightage in the paper, guys. And that's why I've kept them in block one. They are easy to understand if I talk about the complexity of the concepts in them. But yes, you will have to dedicate good amount of time if you want to master them, if you want to excel at them. Okay, so we'll put them in the first block. You have to very nicely, very thoroughly complete the revision of these chapters. How can you do it? See, if there's any chapter from this list which is going on currently in your coaching class or it is being currently taught in whatever online institute you are associated with or if there's any chapter which is not yet picked up, so it's yet to be picked up, leave that. Whatever remains on this list, those are the chapters which are completed and you have your notes ready with you already. So if you have good notes prepared, visit them nicely. Take good time to go through them, understand them. Or again, you can watch the one-shot sessions to save your time. And then what you can do is you can move on to topic-wise PYQs. That will give you immense amount of confidence on these super-duper high-weighted chapters. And that is what you need to perfectly kickstart your revision process. The next set of important chapters that you have to jump on to revising are these in block two. So what all we have here, so you were done with quadratic equations when you were revising your basics, so you can start with complex. Okay, that's complex numbers. Then binomial theorem plus permutations and combinations plus probability. Why have I said plus, plus, plus? Because concepts from binomial are used in PNC and concepts from PNC are obviously aggressively used in probability. So you have to revise these chapters together or rather one after the other. Straight lines and circles together, indefinite integration followed by differential equations. See people, uh, understand one thing very carefully that these chapters, I know they are going to demand time from your end, but even they acquire a good, good share in the paper. And that is why you must dedicate good amount of time in preparing them. What happens is when you prepare chapters or study chapters or revise chapters in a smart fashion, what is a smart fashion? That you are studying the chapters which are having some kind of a link between them. In that situation, the benefit is that your journey becomes very simple, smooth. You are able to get into that momentum and you are able to get a lot of productive work done. That's why we are capitalizing on this strategy of completing like chapters or codependent chapters together first. Next up is the third block and this one is a tricky one. It has your pure conics, which is parabola, ellipse and hyperbola. It has definite integration followed by area under curves and you can keep LCD also here, I don't mind. Now the thing with these chapters is that <laughs> Basically you never get that satisfactory feeling that now these chapters are coming. So you don't have to prepare them emotionally. We all know they are important topics, of course. But we are going to prepare them practically. 
take help of loads and loads of PYQs, spend time with loads and loads of PYQs to understand the examiner's mind, to understand the kind of questions which are asked from these chapters in the paper. So that accordingly you can tweak your strategy and you know move in the correct direction. Otherwise what will happen is if you don't take help of the PYQs, you will be lost in random unimportant topics and that will only and only lead to time wastage. And that is something that we cannot afford at this point in time. Last but definitely not the least, we are left with just a few topics which I love to call the freebies. They are literally the low input, high output chapters, guys. They are extremely simple to prepare because they just take a couple of hours to get done with. I am talking about statistics, mathematical reasoning, heights and distances, and some standard formulas of ITF. Just some standard ones which are mostly applied in the questions. So these are some topics which are so simple and so easy and so less time consuming that either you can get done with them right in the beginning, your choice, if you want that boost that you okay, okay, I'm done with three chapters, wow. Or you can push them towards the end. When you're done with the core chapters, then you can opt to do the freebies because they are really, really simple to master. Or if there are days when you are very tired, exhausted, not very well, not in the best state of energy, not very high spirited, then you can opt to do these chapters. They're gonna get done at that moment and you will also not feel guilt of not studying anything, okay? So this was the sequence of the chapters in which you have to do your revision of the syllabus. I have tried to take majority of the topics that are sufficient to help you crack 70 to 80% of the mathematics paper. All right, now three disclaimers before I leave guys, when you are revising, and in that particular moment, if you are practicing some questions, if you are solving PYQs, make sure it is time bound. So keep a stopwatch in front of you. It will help you regulate your time management and it will help you become better at balancing speed with accuracy. It's a very important skill. We have to have to master it. Number two, while revising a particular chapter, whenever you come across any important result or formula or theorem or concept or idea or shortcut or trick which you feel is getting used multiple multiple times across chapters that means it's important so write it down in a short note you know that uh, little uh, those colored notes that we get now that note pad you can use those papers to write those formulas or you can use flashcards or just a formula sheet basically the idea is to keep that handy near you so that whenever, wherever you need them, you have their access, all right? It's very, very important. Also, once you write these things by your hand, uh, you know, it gets better imprinted in your system. And last but not the least is the third point. Oh my God, this is so important. Once you are done revising a particular chapter, so you've crossed all the stages, you've studied its theory, you've solved its DPPs, the module, the assignments, uh, then you've uh, also solved PYQs based upon it, you've also given a couple of mock tests and now you are confident that okay yeah everything is done from my side, please sit, close your eyes and make a mind map of everything that you've studied in that chapter and try to connect the dots. I can guarantee it will store that information in a very organized manner in your head and you will not forget it. You will not forget it and your confidence on that chapter will just skyrocket. <laughs> okay, chalo then. It's me, Bhumika, signing off, people. I'm going to see you very soon with more such exciting sessions that will really help you ace your game plan and ace your J2023 exam. Thank you so much. It's me, Bhumika, signing off. Bye-bye. Take care.